Hey there garden fans and welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. Wanted to give everybody an update on the animal husbandry front. We got quite a bit going on here in the suburbs and I've been getting a lot of questions. So I want to answer them and give you guys just a brief update. Um, I know I said at one point in time I wasn't going to be breeding my rabbits anymore. But I think I found a cost effective way to do it uh, by supplementing them with a lot of the cover crops that I grow here on site. So. One of the uh, biggest questions I get is, how do I know that my rabbits have successfully been bred? There's two things you're going to want to look for. One is that the female is receptive and she will present herself. And the second thing is, you're going to want to keep an eye on your male. Uh, when you had a successful breeding, he probably will let out a little squeal and fall over. So here right now, you can see her presenting. And the male is just now getting the job done right there should look something kind of like that. So right there was a successful breeding. I'm betting in about 28 days we're going to have some bunnies on the homestead. So that's where we are with the bunny front. Next thing I want to share with you all is our chickens. Um, we still have our two Rhode Island Red Roosters. They're here turning the compost. Uh, but I did get rid of our little yellow cushion. I sold her to some 4-H kids and what I got in return was two sex links. Uh, this is a father was a Rhode Island Red and the mother was a Sussex. So these should be some pretty good egg laying birds. I also got rid of my two game hens as well so we're right now down to four hens total. Um, so that should pretty well keep us stocked with eggs. Uh, last thing I want to share with you guys is a beekeeping update. Uh, I installed these two packages of bees exactly 21 days ago. So I should be expecting to see some brood being born out here today. Uh, this first hive I'm giving a peek to has been the weaker looking of the two hives. However, it does seem to be on track. I'm getting lots of brood, I'm seeing eggs, and in my inspection here today, I was able to find the queen. Uh, one of the biggest questions I got is, what am I looking for when I do a beehive inspection? Well, you should be looking for your queen or signs of the queen. Uh, you want to make sure that eggs, you see some eggs, eggs mean that the queen was there at least three days ago. And then you just want to check for general signs of pest damage or disease in general. Um, here I am starting my second beehive inspection and I'm about to pull a frame here in just a minute and it's going to show you some bees actually being born. It's really cool to see up, up close and personal. So here you go, C can you see her? How about now? She's right there in the center of the frame. Let me slow it down just a little bit. So right now I've got a baby bee being born. She's chewing through uh, her capped cell right now. And I'm going to pan up a little bit and show you a couple more cells that look just like that. Uh, you can see a larva in one of those uh, open cells. And as I pan up a little further you can see more baby bees chewing through the hive. So. Uh, both hives are not quite ready for a second deep, however in another 14 days they just might be overflowing with bees. So I'm going to keep my eye on them and uh, make sure I add and give them what they need when they need it. I was able to collect some burr comb today so I'll be putting that into some candles. And that's it for today guys. Just wanted to give you all a brief homestead update. Um, you can do quite a bit in the suburbs. We have 2,000 square foot raising rabbits, doing chickens, and bees. So if you got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching and your support. God bless.